Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Yeah, we've got more FIFA 23 content for you guys, man. So if you guys are enjoying the YouTube videos recently, drop a thumbs up. I posted a couple in the last couple days. Kind of talk about the database and stuff like that. Today's video, I, I want to be a video that is kind of able to be referenced uh, for the first couple of however many days of FIFA. So today I'm going to try to specifically teach you guys and talk to you guys about chemistry. Uh, we are going to have some videos uh, coming out probably later today and tomorrow about like web app. And obviously all the content that we do, the grinding, will be uploaded on YouTube. We also are going to have a crazy video out tomorrow. Uh, we are going to do Discord share plays on starter packs. It's going to be crazy on the web app. So that's going to be one of the coolest videos I've ever done. I've never done that really at the start. Um, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, as always, guys. If you're enjoying the video, uh, let me know. And today we're going to be talking about chemistry. I know it's maybe not the most like entertaining thing to talk about, but chemistry is completely different in this game. And I think I feel like I finally kind of got the idea of how it works. So I want to explain that to you guys. I know that EA have kind of posted about it, and we've seen some things talking about it, but it's still really confusing. You know, I'm still talking about uh, building teams and stuff on my stream yesterday, and a lot of people still don't get it. So we're going to kind of go through and talk about it. It's not that complicated, but it is at the same time. So now we've not got an 100 chem system. We've got a 33 chem system. If you haven't heard that by now, now you've heard it. And uh, basically, to obtain max chem, you've got 11 players. Every player is going to have to be on three chem for max chem. And the whole squad building is going to be a lot different. So if you have two players from the same club, they get one chem. Uh, if you have two players from the same nation, they get one chem. And if you have three players from the same league, they get one chem. So to get two chem, you've got to obviously add a few, a few more. And it's a lot different because... You know, in the past, you've had weak and strong links. And, and this year, it's just it's just the chemistry of the player in the team. Uh, there's no more such thing as like a weak or a strong link. I guess theoretically there is because when you're building a league or a nation. So, for example, uh, if you wanted to build, you know, a full French team, we'll show you guys here how it works. So, you've got Ariola, uh, You've got Lucas Hernandez. Uh, you've got Konate. And I, I'm going to actually struggle here with the fullbacks. I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of selling on the French right back side of things. I know Lucas Digne is a left back. Uh, French right back, I'm struggling with. <laughs> Pavard. I'm going to go Pavard. Uh, Pavard and uh, Sissoko and Awar. So what you guys can see here is Bakioko a gold. No, he's not. Uh, let's go Conte. Okay, so... You guys can see here, we've got uh, 24 chem on eight players right now. So that means that we've got three chem on every single player. Now, why do we have three chem on every player? Because we have eight players from the same nation or league. Now, what will happen if I get rid of Conte here? You'll notice that everybody, not everybody, but some players are going to drop to two chemistry. So when you look at the team, the back line is all on five chem. And the two midfielders uh, currently, the two midfielders guys are on... Uh, are on uh, two chem. Now the reason that the midfielders are on two chem, you've got a lot of reasons actually, right? So the back line, we've got seven players from the same league. Um, that's currently what we've got. So when you take a look at it, right, the keeper is in his right is is in the proper position, and then we've also got we've also got three players from the Premier League, right? So we've got three players from the Premier League at least. We've got one, two, three. Okay, now that's that's interesting, right? Because that means if you have three players from the same league, you get another chem boost. So, yeah, that that's the difference here. When you look at the center mids, we've got two players in the league one. And if you see the, the top right corner, uh, there's only they don't that's not enough to earn one chem. So exactly what I'll show you guys right now. If I added Gelson Martinsch, right? He's in the league one. You'll notice that I have three league one players and that my two center mids go to full chem. So it's not as complicated as you think. When you look at this kind of thing right here, you kind of think about, oh man, I have to use like the same club or the same nation or same league. It's really not like that, right? Because you can kind of get one chem and two chem. After learning about it a bit more, I don't actually dislike the chem system. I think it's actually pretty unique. Um, and then obviously before all this, right? We take a look at before this, right? Just the back line. The reason why Pavard and Hernandez are on, on the ma max chem is that we've got more than four players from the same nation right? They're in their, they're in their proper position. Uh, and if we have more than four players in the same nation, um, sorry, five, because we've got the keeper, that means they're going to get two chem. Uh, and also they're getting one chem because they play for the same team. So if I got rid of Lucas Digne here, he would drop the two chem and Ariola would go down to one chem because there's only four players in the same nation and Ariola shares nothing with anyone in this league. So it's just one chem right now. Now, 
The difference here is as well, you can also add a manager. Now a manager in FIFA 23 is gonna act the same exact way. A manager is gonna contribute one chemistry increment to all the players that shares a country region or the league of the manager. So that's gonna be really nice too because you could end up building, uh, at, where were we before? So let's say we were here and we had Kante and Sissoko and like Awar maybe. So I don't know how to give you guys a great example here. We could go like Martial here. And then we can go like maybe Anthony over here, right? And let's see what Anthony's base chem is on. Anthony. So we'll put Anthony out, out at right mid and uh, or right wing. So he's on three. I've kind of butchered this completely. Um, let me think of a of a of a um a prem. No, not a prem. Maybe like a Bundesliga left mid. Nah, come on, that's the problem. Uh dude, I'm blanking. I'm absolutely blanking. Uh I'm absolutely blanking on left wing. I can't. All right, let me think about it. Like Vinny, right? Let's put Vinny in the team. So why is Vinny on one cam? We've got no La Liga players in the team, right? None. So what we could do here is we could actually add a French La Liga player to increase Vinicius's cam. Now, if we put Camavinga at right center mid, because they play for the same club, you only need two players in the same club to get one cam. So they, Vinny gets another cam. If he's in the right position, as he enters the team, he, he joins on one cam. He joins on one cam. So if I had Camavinga here who's French, right? And it's interesting, right? When you look at this team, it's so different than the past because you're used to looking at all these links and people, uh, you know, doing triangles and, and, and stuff like that to get Cam, and it's not like that anymore. So now that we've got Vinny in the team, we can add a Brazilian manager and Vinny's going to get that extra Cam point and my team is going to be on 33 Cam. So I think chemistry is, is I think people have overcomplicated it a bit. It's not actually that hard to understand once you get it. Now, it took me like a week to get it. So I'm not saying, uh, I'm, not saying I'm, I'm the master of this. And I think, you know, having that ability to add that manager for that extra point is massive, right? It's absolutely massive. And I think there's a lot of unique teams you could build this year because of this, like, one club uh, extra point you get and league, right? So this is what's really cool for me, right? Let me show you guys this right now. And, uh, you know, not to say the Bundesliga is... Uh, let me. I got to see who plays... Key, who's a goalkeeper for Ajax? I mean, we don't necessarily have to do that. But let's see who plays goalkeeper for Ajax, right? Uh, no, we're not going to do that. So a lot of people have been tweeting me about using Teze and uh, Timber, right? So let's let's go ahead and look at this. So Teze and Timber, all right? Uh, now, this is interesting because right now they've got a nationality point. Uh, and so let's see what we could do with this. So we, we, we potentially need to go to the Eredivisie here. Uh, and we need to see what we can kind of work with here. I'm, I'm just, I think the best way to learn all this, guys, is like squad building. That's why I want to do it with you guys. Uh, you know, in, in this format, right? So let's add Benitez in net. We're going to add Benitez. He plays for PSV. Now, what you'll notice, what you'll notice is that Teze is going to three chem. And the reason because of that is he also has a nationality link. So it's not, it's really not that challenging to get players on full chem. And what you can end up doing is build the rest of the team, which is eight players. If you put them all in the right positions and you went like Prem, or maybe, maybe you decided that you wanted to go Davies, and Goretzka, right? And Coman, Davies and Goretzka uh, and Coman, right? You could do this. Davies, Goretzka, Coman. And if you use four players from the same club, they obviously all get max cam. So you could go, you know, a little bit of that Gravenberch vibe, right? And those guys are all in full cam, you know? Then with the rest of the team, you could actually say, hey, I, I want to go, maybe, maybe you want to go Dutch for the rest of the team. You know, I don't know what you want to do necessarily. But there's a lot of squad building options. You guys can see here that this is going to end up being like, you know, it could be a three league hybrid if I did one club here. It could also be a four league hybrid if I just went nationality, right? If I just said, screw the Eredivisie, we are going to go, you know, we're just going to go Netherlands for the rest of this, right? And this is where it gets really interesting, right? Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to afford all these icons, but like we could go Frankie de Jong. You know, we go Frankie de Jong here at the right center mid spot. Uh, we could go with Dumfries, we could go with uh, Berquis, right? So there's a lot of stuff you could do here. Uh, Dumfries, there's some more OP players that were like lower rated, I want to find them. Uh, Doom, uh, Malin, you could go Malin, right? That's Bundesliga, but we've already got some Bundesliga players. So you could go Dumfries, and it's not that, guys, I'm just trying to explain to you guys, it's not really that hard, you know, to build all these teams. It's really not. It's a lot more complicated than, than you would think. Now, you guys just saw, by the way, this is what's unique about the secondary positions, right? Berkwees, nice card. A lot of FIFAs, you couldn't use him in that starting squad at that right wing. 
he's now got the alternate position so we could just put him right there and this is a 30 this is a 30 chem team so we take a look at the players that are not on chem in this team all right it's uh it's de Jong and it's dufries now why are they not on chem because to get three chem you need to have eight players from the same nation or league so in this case we've got de Jong, dufries and benitez off chem now you could say well if you just switch to a dutch keeper you'd have max chem and that that is very true that is very true right so if i put like uh if i put pass veer in here all these guys would go on. i'm pretty sure it'd be on 33 chem we would right but let's just say for the sake of this you know this experiment here of learning chemistry we, we we can't do that let's say this is my team well you could get a manager um that's argentina and or you get a manager sorry that's dutch and in the air division and if you did that you'd have 33 camp because managers are still going to act the same uh to my to my understanding in this game so it's not that bad it's not that complicated i just want you guys to kind of follow along here and understand this now there's no uh so when you take a look here i, I do want to see real quick what happens in this team I, I this is the only thing i don't really know yet about cam and this is why we're making this video because you guys are going to kind of get like an interactive uh hands-on little learning here so let me see i know they just showed that example but let me see if i put kim pembe and mbappe in the same team what would happen so two cam two cam now what's interesting I'm, i believe if i added any other league one player right so if i went to four three one two and this is why I just think squad building is not going to be that hard this year. If I go to 4-3-1-2 and I added Ben Yedder, they're, uh, they're both on 3 cam. Um, they're both on 3 cam because they've got that club link, right? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What if I went with Nkunku here? How much cam would Nkunku be on? So he, I don't know if he has secondary position of cam. He does. So he's only on one cam. And the reason he's only on one cam is because he's only got two nationality links. So he needs five from the same nation um, to be elite here. So, you know, you could end up doing some crazy stuff. You could go like Klosterman. You know, and then uh, he's on two chem. You could go Galassi and, you know, he's on three chem then. And then you could go like <clears throat> you could go like round here. So I just think squad building is going to be really, really fun to do this year. And I think it's going to be a lot different, but I think it's going to be easier, man. I don't I really don't see it being that hard. Cancelo's a, a base left back, but he's got a secondary position of a right mid or right back. Sorry. So you could put him at right back and then you could kind of go and say, hey, I want to use some some, some cheaper uh, meta prem center mids. Right. So let's see how this let's see how this turns out. Let's just try this team. And uh, we'll see how this goes, right? Let's just see how this team looks, right? So we put Conte in there. And how do we do? So ben, so we got 30 chem again. And we've got two chem on Nunes, Zakaria, and Cancelo. So we just get a prep manager. And, and it's really not. That's that's it, man. It's that easy. And if you take a look at this team, uh, we've got Premier League, Bundesliga, and League One. Um, and we've got players. You know, we've got players that potentially were harder to link before. If you think about all the weak links and stuff, like it would be a lot harder to just throw in uh, Nunes in this team um you know just a random i don't know it'd be a lot harder it would be a lot harder yes you could use cancelo but i think there's there's definitely benefits to the new chemistry system um for sure and then the one thing to consider is that the chem styles are very different right those they're going to be a little bit different with the boost this year so even if we let's go to like let's do a last little experiment for you guys i, I think the best way to learn like chemistry and stuff in fifa and, and just generally is always to do it with like a watch along or a tutorial so that's why i'm trying to do it this way with you guys now just to talk about something real quick my experiment was I wanted to go on the, the front page of Flippin and pick a couple players. So let's pick let's pick a couple challenging players here. Let's pick Delafue. Uh let's pick uh let's pick Danjuma, Delafue, and uh Chan. Chan. Let's try Chan. So Delafue, uh Delafu, Chan, and Danjuma. Let's try that. Now, one thing I wanted to do real quick with you guys is just show you guys. Hullet, like, had a secondary position, I believe, of striker. One of the cards did. Um, every icon is going to start on the base three chem. So just so you guys know, the icons in this game are going to start on three chem. Like, that's what it is. It's They're going to give you, th which is awesome. They're going to give you full chem. That's dope. If they're in the right position, they give you full chem. And I, that, for me, is, is great, right? I think that's how it should be. There was some confusion there before. But now, now it's uh, now it's been cleared up. Hopefully, uh, so let's try this, right? We're gonna try Delafue at striker. We're gonna try Danjuma here. Hopefully, they all have. Uh, I don't think they have secondary positions, do they? So we might. Have, this is where it gets fun, right? You gotta change. So Danjuma has left mid, left wing, and Delafue. I know Chan has center, CDM center back, which is why I want to try him. Okay, so they do. So we'll put Chan here. We'll use Chan as a center back, right? Just for example, because I think a lot of people were thinking about using him as a center back. So we've got to get. Uh, Dutch La Liga, Spanish Serie A, and German, uh, German 
German in the Bundesliga. So this is not going to be the easiest, but I think it's manageable. Um, so right away, you know, you don't have to do this, but like in terms of making a team, I would automatically just try to do, uh, just try to see what I could do here with uh, the, the like the Dortmund trio, right? See if I could kind of work around this. I don't know if Berkey was added. I don't know who the Dortmund keeper is this year. It's like, uh, it's, uh, I know his name too. That's what's driving me crazy. Uh, keepers. In the Bundesliga, we don't necessarily have to use a Bundesliga keeper. We could also go with like Neuer. Uh, it is Kobel, right? So he's like, he's a guy in this team that would make sense to use. Where's my team? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we'll go with him. Now you don't have to do it this way, and I'll show you guys. We'll, we'll mix this around a bit. But as you guys can see, my uh, my center backs are both in three cam. Now the best way I think I would do it here is go with this. I would do Neuer, right? They go to three cam because they've got. Um, They've got the uh, the club link and they've got the nation link with the league link now. And then I would end up doing like um, like potentially like Raum here, right? And then I think the nation lead is the is that gonna help me? No, that's not gonna help me. Okay, so I need five from the same nation. Okay, let's focus a little bit more on the attackers here. Um, right wing, maybe let's go like Lozano. I'm thinking Lozano, and then we're gonna go De Jong. I want to go De Jong here because I feel like that's best for the chem here. We're gonna get the same league, uh, and then we'll go like Malasia, right? I think we need five from the same nation, though. So, Malassi might not be the move. So, this is where it gets challenging. Um, Delafue, also, we need to work on because he's got no... Like, there's no chem there right now. Um, Udinese or Napoli. So, in terms of Napoli, there was a center mid that I looked at that was crazy on Napoli. And I, I can't remember his name. Um, I think Zambo was pretty good, though. Or Zielinski. So, we could go... We could try Zambo here. He's a nice DM. Uh, and then you could also go any... You could really go any right back in the Serie A. Um, you could, doesn't really matter. Let's think about Barca, right? You could use potentially like Pedri or, uh, you could use like Llorente. I mean, this is not much of a starter team, but Llorente would be cool. Cause then you'd also get a Dela Few link. Um, so right now to get an extra chem point, this is a, this is, this is, this is a, this team is a problem right now. We've got to figure this out. So what I'm thinking here is if we went, if we got rid of Llorente, right. And we decided to go Dutch for the rest of this. We went Malasia, and I'm trying to think of another Dutch center mid. We went like Wijnaldum. I think he's in the Serie A still, right? Um, and then we ended up going with um, maybe a right back that was... Uh, we could go Di Lorenzo, but we could also... Dutch would be great because we'd get the extra point on all these players. We're one away. Um, so let me see here. Dutch, right back. Uh, Dumfries, right? So Dumfries actually also in the Serie A, which is like literally perfect for this team. So, but yeah, that was perfect. So we just got uh, we just got an extra boost on Lozano and Zambo, and so the only players off cam now. The only players off cam at the moment is Neuer, Malasia, De Jong, and Danjuma. So we have 28 cam. So right now, if I put a Dutch manager on in the Bundesliga or the Serie A, I would get 32 cam. So right now, as this team stands, I can't get max chemistry. Um, I can't. I can't do it. I'd have to change. I'd have to change um, to maybe same club. So, like, maybe Jordi Alba here would get De Jong a little bit more on camp. And I think maybe another Spanish link uh, for De La Few. So, that's pretty interesting, right? If we did that, let's see where our camp lies now. So, we're on 31. And that just got De La Few the extra camp. Because I was looking here. We needed two, one more Spanish player for that extra Spanish point. Um, so, now the only player who's off is that Juma and Neuer. So, in this case, you go Dutch Bundesliga or German uh, La Liga for the manager. But let's just go back and, you know, say before that we wanted to keep Malasia. Um, you know... We could do this, and then we could also then, like, I guess we could look for a keeper maybe in the Bundesliga. How, so how close are we here with the extra link? So we've got, uh, nah, so that's not going to really do anything. So in this case, like, I still think in, in this upcoming FIFA, I still don't really have a problem with 32 cam. Like, 32 cam is like 98, 97. And I'm also that guy that is a super believer in, like, I don't think a keeper on, like, 7 or 8 is that bad. So you could end up going with uh, Dutch, Dutch manager in Serie A. And boom, you know, you're, you're chilling, right? You've got everybody on cam. You've got 32 cam uh, and Neuer on, I guess, 2 cam, which is like also totally fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video was helpful, guys. I know that chemistry is like really challenging. And I know that I might have said something here that like wasn't a totally accurate, but I think I've done well. And I think I started to understand like really how this stuff works. I don't think it's that bad. The only challenge is going to be like, I think SPCs is going to become really hard, right? SPCs before already took such a long time. It's going to take a really long time now. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, FIFA 23 coming out soon. So very excited for that and uh, see you guys later. Peace.